It's the last day of severe weather awareness week. We woke up to a blast of spring snow and now we want to shed some light on lightning. Seven first alert chief meteorologist Dave Rexroth shows us how to stay safe when lightning strikes. You hear this sound. You should take it as a warning where there's thunder. There's lightning and if you can hear it, you're within striking distance. Last summer, two men from Macomb County were injured in a strike while outside gathering firewood. Lightning can be hotter than the surface of the sun, and it can strike from five miles away. Our question about lightning comes from a fifth grader in Troy. Hi, my name is Peyton. I'm a fifth grader in Troy, and my question is, why does lightning come before thunder? That is a great question. Lightning makes the thunder. I'll show you how in just a, a second here, but it's uh, the end of Severe Weather Awareness Week. We hope over the week here you had a chance to get your act together, your plan together for when we get to issues. But in terms of the lightning thunder uh, relationship there, lightning happens first. You see it first because the speed of light is so much faster than the speed of sound, but the air gets really, really hot when that bolt of lightning hits. It can go up to 50,000 degrees Fahrenheit. And with that going on, the air expands very, very rapidly, greater than the speed of sound, and that's why you hear uh, the sound break through and make the thunder hotter than the surface of the sun is pretty darn impressive. So you gotta make sure that you stay safe uh, from lightning. Here's some safety tips. Get inside. Of course, we've been talking about that a lot all week. That's the most important thing. It's a good idea to give it 20 or 30 minutes after the last thunder to make sure that you're safe from the lightning. When you're inside, close the windows and doors so there's no pathway into the house or building that you're in. If you're outside, you got to avoid trees because they're tall. They can attract lightning. And of course, metal objects. Metal is a good conductor as well. If there's nowhere to go, crouch down don't lay down, but you crouch down as low as possible and so you can stay away from the lightning threat.